good morning everyone welcome to another week another monday morning i am feeling i think a little better today than i have been still not amazing like i haven't gone on a walk but i certainly sorry i think there's a getting groceries for me so she's messaging me messaging me at the moment so yeah so i think i had to go get a blood test this morning kevin dropped them down at the blood test place and then they really want to go and get the groceries so I thought okay <laughs> um, so I've left them doing that um, so I'm going to go up and have a shower now and get ready because I do have to go pick them up when they're done um, yeah it's a really nice day outside I'm still a bit achy but I'm hoping that I'll be well enough to at least get some things done like make some chair cookies a bit of food prep oh, I just I'm going to pace myself real slow and just even get some stuff done obviously we want to go away on the weekend and that's like provided we can get the air conditioning fixed in the van in the motorhome that's um supposed to be happening tomorrow so um yes yeah, so i really should try and get out in the motorhome today but it's going to be 30 degrees so it's going to be really hot so i don't know i probably should be trying to go out now but i don't really feel quite ready to do that so um i think i'll have to wait till later on in the week and that should be okay as long as I'm feeling okay uh, I think at worst comes to worst we can pretty much just throw a lot of stuff in the van and we'll manage it's you know, not a big deal as Kim said even if I had to eat out everywhere else, it's not the end of the world he really really wants to go away so we are going away and hopefully I can get the van all the way I'd like it to be pretty much at least as, as a start I think we'll be okay but anyway, I thought I would just try and vlog a few days and then I'll probably do a separate motorhome organization how it got it set up to her later on probably down the track when we have it all the way we want it to be but yeah as, I stand, as i'm standing here i don't feel really good i think i just want to take it easy try and do a few things that'll be the goal to get a few things done in the kitchen i think will be today's goal um all right so i'm gonna jump in the shower so i'm ready to go when athena requires me which are pretty much pretty much ugh, i can't talk probably pretty much as soon as i get out of the, out of the shower i need to get down and pick them up so i'll just do a quick check in with you guys I'm feeling even worse is migraine. It's gotten really bad. I've taken some panadine. I'll give it a little bit longer because I took it like half an hour ago. Um, I can't quite remember how quickly I'm allowed to take the headache tablet after the panadine. I'll leave it a little bit longer and see, but I've got like the upset stomach like it's a full migraine. I'm feeling really yucky. I need to eat some lunch. Uh, just like, what on earth? Do I make? I was gonna have a salad. I don't know if that's too hard. I think I can probably do a salad. The lettuce is washed. I might quickly try and make a salad because I feel like I haven't hardly had any vegetables over the weekend. Like I haven't, I haven't been eating badly, but I feel like I, ha I don't know why I feel like I haven't eaten well. Probably because I haven't. We well, yesterday we take we had the burritos. I had the burrito for lunch, but that was all right. Like that had beans and rice and stuff in it. We ended up getting pizza for dinner last night. Kevin wanted that. Um, and he very rarely asked for like takeaway food, so and I was not feeling great, so I said, Yeah, whatever. Um, and the night before, I had the leftover, so I had the bolognese two nights, which I guess, like, it's not full of vegetables, but it's not bad, like, it's just not, it's not bad, you know. And I can't remember what I've been having for lunch. I think I've been having sandwiches and stuff, I guess, so just like what's easy to make. Uh, anyway, I'll, um, I think I'll try and do a salad. <laughs> So a big dose of vegetables, I just feel so bad right now, but I'll try and do that quickly rather than have a sandwich. <laughs> Breakfast ended up being just some, what did I have? I can't remember what I had. I had something earlier and I just had some cruskets with, uh, or corn, were they corn thin? So I don't know, whatever, it's only with some, something, I can't even remember now. Anyway, I'm just dying here on my feet, so I will get my salad and get back to the couch I was really hoping for a better day I've actually asked offered a thing I said I'll pay you to make some chia cookies for me and do some baking for Kevin and Christy to have so I think they're gonna do that so they've been busy they've done they've done a double batch but I think they've made them a lot like they're a lot bigger than what I normally get for my chia cookies but anyway I don't care they are done what else did they make? They made some other stuff. They've made oh yeah, some some um, loose balls or date balls in there and chia pudding as well. 
I'm so appreciative because I am not good. Um, anyway, I've got to go pick up Christy now. So, and then unfortunately they've got tennis this afternoon, which means running around, taking her there and picking her up. And it's such a pain because it's only for half an hour. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned they're having private lessons now and pop paying because I was a mean mum and I said I wasn't going to pay for lessons for it because I don't know how long it's going to last. <laughs> but you've never had private lessons before and Christy's enjoying them, I know that. So they may last, <laughs> but they're so expensive. And she's started tennis at least two times, maybe three times before and done it for a bit and then given up. And I said, I'm not, at the moment I wasn't prepared to pay for them, so. And I pop off it. <laughs> So which is nice of them, but anyway, Bailey and I are going to go pick Christy up now. Ah, ah, stop it. <sighs> yeah, but anyway, I really, hey, you're looking colour. I have the, my bowl there for my salad, which was absolutely delicious. I love my salad today. Um, it was so nice. <laughs> so, he's just been licking the bowl. But he's not allowed to lick the cutlery in there. All right, let's go, Bay. Let's go. Going in the car? Yes, please, Mum. Good morning everyone, it's Tuesday, I had to think of what day it was. And, oh, I've just put the outside, I don't know if you've seen our fountains, oh, can you focus? I just put the fountains on, my mistake. Uh, yeah, I'm not, well I haven't been really great this morning, but at the moment I'm actually feeling pretty good. Although before when I thought I was feeling better, I went and tidied up the house a bit for a thing to clean and then I felt really yucky again. So probably why I'm not doing much, I'm feeling all right, but I'm not in pain all over. So that's a big thing. <laughs> but I'm still gonna take it easy days. So I already did a bit of good bit of tidying up and I don't really have anything else to do to particular today. I've got running around with Athena this afternoon and then they've got friends coming over. So I won't be doing a lot. The motorhome's now gone to try and get the air conditioning fixed. So fingers crossed that we're fixed. Apparently if I came back today, they'll come back tomorrow. So I don't know what time Kim will bring it home tomorrow. I'm kind of running out of time. It's a bit of a shame. I mean, it's really hot out there, so I probably wouldn't go out there now anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to, um, I'm sort of gathering stuff in, in putting into our study there. Actually, I might have got to go put the, um, the new quilt and sheet I thought I'd throw it in the dryer just to get it done quick rather than hang it out. I should go hang it out, but yeah, I'll just get it dried. I'm actually now going to work on editing the vlog that I filmed over the weekend and get that up for you guys. And then that'll probably be all I get done this morning. But anyway, yeah, it's nearly 12 o'clock. So um, yeah, start the day as you already saw, watching some cycling. Then I watched some the snowboard cross, which I really enjoy as well. Um, it's one of my favorite winter events. So I watched some of that. Um, and then just been playing around now watching like RV organization videos. <laughs> so, uh, I've actually found an Australian, but they're not, they're no longer doing it. They finished up about a year ago. They were living in their motor home, but she had a few organizing videos. So I'll just watch them. And then she says she's got some on the Blue Mountains. So I'm going to watch them now too, since that's where we're hoping, or that's where we're planning on going this weekend. And, um, yeah, hopefully I'll continue to improve. Maybe I'm past the worst of it. Who knows? We'll see. Well, I've got a bit of a dilemma. <laughs> a bit of a traumatic trying to get to tutoring. We finally arrived, but we are like half an hour late. Um, Cause I drove out with my car and something's dragging under my car, part of my car. It's happened before, but it's obviously fallen again. I think it's okay to drive with it. I think we did last time, but just to be safe, we went home and we swapped the cars. We're now in Kevin's car. Luckily it was home because he's taken the motor home, but, <sighs> Now I don't know what to do because I've only got like, if I go home, I'll have half an hour at home. But I really don't want to go to the shops, but it's probably stupid to go, because I'll have an hour at the shops. What am I going to do for an hour at the shops? And it's too hot to sit in the car 
Um, not that I've got anything to do in the car, because <laughs> I wasn't planning on this when we left home. So I don't know what to do. So I'm going to go up and turn around anyway and I'll drive and see where I end up, I guess. I mean, I could use kind of going to the shops and getting some more stuff for the motorhome, but I really don't want to go today. And I'll go home and have a salad for lunch. But again, by the time I get home, I make a salad, I need my salad, and we turn around and come back again. Oh dear. But I think that's what I'll do because I really do not want to go to the shops right now. I did indeed come back home and I've just made my nice salad. Yummy. So I'm going to have that. So it's my normal salad. I've got pineapple, a jerky bean patties, and I've just got, um, I think, a sweet potato and cashew dip I'm using as a dressing and some onion. Yummy, yummy. I'm going to have that. And in 15 minutes, no, 20 minutes, I'm going to head back out again. It ended up being a pretty strange week afternoon, not weekend. Um, oh, I don't know what my hair's doing. I thought I got it tied back in a pigtail, but it's all fallen out. It's a bit short for a pigtail, but it was so hot when I. Well, I just had for my shower, I think, anyway. Um, yeah, so I had to go pick up Athena from her tutoring, and I just left and I was off the road, and she sent me an email to say, a message to say, I didn't need to come pick up to 3 o'clock. This is just after 2.30. I thought, oh, I could, I was about to. 220, 225. Okay, I could turn and go back, but I have like literally like 10 minutes here. So that I'll just keep going and I just ended up going to the shop. So I didn't want to go to this morning. Um, but I had only like 15 or 20 minutes there. So I ended up just um, getting a few utensils for the motorhome and I bought a really, I've already tried it as a coconut um, ice cream, like made with coconut milk. Oh, yummy. It was cherry and chocolate flavored was like $15 for a little tiny tub I thought well, that'd be really nice for a little treat because like I don't have any chocolate here I don't usually even look for anything anymore but just sometimes I feel like a little something so that'll be very nice and I think a little would go a long way like I think it's but yeah I'm looking forward to that it's the same I had a yogurt in that brand like the coconut yogurt but wasn't a real fan of that but the ice cream <laughs> it tasted good that's just mine for me because I do actually have other normal ice cream in the house which I have not had any of this one get a bit frustrated with my um, very, 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 very slow weight loss because <laughs> I'm not having anything like I used to have. It's like, it's crazy. <sighs> if I could rewind the clock and eat the way I am now, back when I actually probably had a good metabolism, <laughs> I'm glad I just lost weight so fast, but now it's like, it's like pulling teeth. Anyway, I am currently at the lowest weight I've been for a long, long time, but it's just like, 0.2 a week or something. I think I'll be lucky to lose a kilo a month. But anyway, that's better than gaining a kilo a month by the end of the year, isn't it? So I just got to keep thinking positive <laughs> and not get too frustrated and too annoyed. Anyway, I don't, I'm not wanting food, so it's not like I kind of think, oh, what's the point? But then I don't want the food that I would normally have gone for anyway. Like, I couldn't tell you the last time I had chocolate or chips, lollies, like any of those things that I used to eat a lot of. Really, that's probably like Christmas time, probably the last time I had chocolate. I've got dark chocolate here, but I don't go looking for it. I've really like cut down my snacks now. Um, I just finished off my salad before, so it's like my afternoon snack was finishing my lunch. And I might actually get some grapes a bit later on, because I kind of sometimes feel like I'm under eating a little bit, but I don't know. Anyway, um, I might have some grapes a bit later on, because I've got some very nice grapes at the minute. But yeah, I'm trying not to snack, because that was, I think, a bit my biggest problem for the last 20 years has been snacking. Kevin's home. Um, I ordered some Crocs yesterday. I think they wanted some, or well, we call them thongs, also known as flip flops. I hope she's happy with them because we're having trouble with the feet. And I got some Crocs as well. We had free delivery. I don't know how quick they were. Oh, they're cute. Geez, they're spongy, but the thickness of them. My new winter shoe. Just going to show you my dinner. Um, Athena and her friends are getting takeaway pizza. I think someone works at a pizza shop or something. They're getting pizza. We had pizza the other night, so I didn't want to have pizza again. So I just done some baked potatoes with just some sweet chili sauce and a couple of corn cobs. So a nice healthy dinner. Much healthier than pizza, that's for sure. Just waiting for Kevin to get on his motorbike and I've got to shut the gate so that's why I'm stalking him on the cameras. <laughs> oh, I know where he's going. 
Let's do something else. Well, Kevin's off to work. Once he leaves, I can close the gate and then go up and have my shower and get ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's just your daddy puppies. Hi, Kevin. I can move down to the bottom one and watch you drive at the gate. Hi. Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday. I just have to think all the time, don't I? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling better. I'm not all back to normal, but I think I might be on the tail end of this flare, I hope, although tomorrow's supposed to be really, really hot, so I hope it doesn't trigger up again. Anyway, I'll um, just take things easy today. I've got to take, um, I've got to drop Christian at school this morning, and I might go into town, I haven't quite decided, or I'll just come home, I don't know yet. Um, but, but, oh great, I could take the dogs for a walk, I thought, mm, I don't know if that's a great idea, particularly it's being hot, and I'd don't quite know how I'm feeling. Yesterday, a lot of the time, I thought I was feeling good. I'd get up and do a few things, and I'd go, oh, no, not so good after all. <laughs> so, I suspect today might be the same, but at least I am feeling better. So that's a good, positive thing. Maybe by the weekend, I'll be all back to normal. Um, I don't know how I'm going to finish getting packed, though, because tomorrow's supposed to be really hot, like 39. I think Sydney's going for over 40. So I'm not going to be out in the van working at that temperature. <laughs> Um, that then leaves me just Friday to get packed. I'm assembling stuff in there, so maybe if I assemble everything in there, and then I just end up taking that to the van, and I can always fiddle and organise when we're away. So we are going or at least Saturday night. That'll be the worst case scenario, I guess. And I haven't booked yet the book the Blue Mountains because if I'm really not good still, then we might just go down the coast or somewhere more familiar, would be easier to do than. So, but I'd like to do it. It looks quite good. I was looking up all that touristy stuff to do up there and I thought, oh, I can't do any big walks. What a shame. But um, we can always go back. We're going to have cheap accommodation now. So anyway, I'm going to have my breakfast. I did make this afternoon that I shared. I did get a chance to make some overnight oats. I just had to use my slow milk, so I hope it's nice. I don't think it's going to be as good. I didn't have any almond milk made. So I just thought I'll just get that done. So that's some breakfast done. All right, so I'm going to have that and then I think we're leaving in about, let's see what time it is. Maybe about 20 minutes because we're going to hit peak hour going into the city, into Wollongong. So it usually would take us like 15 minutes, allow a few extra minutes for parking and whatnot, but I think I've got to at least 25 minutes today, maybe more half an hour. So anyway, we'll see, but yeah, we'll couple, couple a bit of traffic going in there. Okay, I am back home. Um, Dogs are still next door. I'm not sure whether I thought Dad was going to bring them back, but maybe I was supposed to go get them. I'll wait and see. I'm just, I just want to go and sit down actually. I've just got the last vlog up, the latest vlog. Um, so I'm just going to have a cup of tea and a couple of chia cookies. Yum. I didn't have them this morning earlier. It's so glad to have breakfast punctured before leaving. So kind of feel like I should do something but I don't know what to do. I'm not feeling the best. I've got a slight headache. Actually, I think I might take some Panadine. See if I can get rid of this headache. But I'm kind of like, what do I do? I think what I'll do is I'm going to have my cup of tea and then I'm going to, I think, sit and write out my list of what I need to take away for the weekend and I can maybe start to get some stuff and put it all in the study. Um, yeah, I just don't feel great, so I don't want to do too much, but I want to get some stuff done. Mentally, I am so motivated and want to do so much. I'll try and share bits of what I get to today. I really want to get back to doing daily vlogs, but I think that'll be when I'm all better. Because I'm not, not doing that much at the minute, so it's a bit hard to do daily vlogs. So hopefully over the weekend you'll get them. Okay, I'm just making a rice bowl for lunch. Yeah, it's late, but I end up eating some leftover potatoes from last night about 12, 31 o'clock. So <laughs> I must be at 12, 30. So I'm not even hungry still, but I think I better eat lunch now. So it's just a rice bowl. So I've got rice tinned mexi beans and some corn kernels and I've got some tomato and I thought I'd show you before I put my big pile of lettuce on top and then you can't see anything else underneath it <laughs> and I'm going to have that with some sweet chilli sauce and that will be my lunch. It's such a quiet house both the kids are upstairs and uh, Kevin's home with the motorhome but he's doing something else in the motorhome. I've watched it's got to go back tomorrow well it doesn't mean bad because I, it's supposed to be really hot so I wasn't planning to do anything in the motorhome tomorrow anyway um, so it's, it's a bit, I'll take it back in, so it's a bit of a shame. 
Um, so I'm just gonna get dinner started. I'm just gonna do some, oh, the fridge is not quite shut. Um, I'm just gonna do some, boil some potatoes to do some mashed potatoes. I've got um, a veggie roast I was having earlier in the week. I wanna finish that off, like it should be right tonight, but so I'll do that with some gravy and I might do some vegetable or vegetarian, well, probably vegan nuggets actually, um, some meatless nuggets anyway, uh, for Kevin, probably a few for Athena. And then if we get Christy to have one or two of them would be good. And I think I've got a few Yorkshire puddings, but they might only be, a, there's not many, it's not a full packet. So usually when we have Yorkshire puddings, we have two each, but maybe we'll get one each if we're lucky. And I'll do some gravy and I'll see what other vegetables I can salvage from the fridge. Um, most of them probably getting a bit on, they'll be past their best now. I'll also put the dogs dinner on to cook and um, I'm gonna watch some videos. I tell you, if you guys ever want some inspiration to do stuff around your house, watch Kimmy. Of she's in her apron. I've watched like three of her. I'm on my third view of hers today. I've, I don't usually watch them because I love them, but I always want to go do something when I watch her video. <laughs> so, um, so twice a day I've been like, I want to go do something now, but I've not felt good at the time. And now I'm just in the middle watching another. I'm gonna go get dinner started. I mean, it's 5:30. I need to do dinner now anyway. But um, she's motivated me once again <laughs> to get up and do something. And besides a headache. A bit of aches, I don't feel too too bad. It's all relative, I guess. Um, so Athena hasn't done the dish, she's not been having a good day, she's not been feeling well. So the dishwasher hasn't got done, my vacuuming hasn't got done, so I'm a bit annoyed. Oh, I'm not annoyed, I'm, I'm not even disappointed with her, I'm just disappointed because it hasn't been done. Because actually, when I come home from picking up Christy, I was feeling all right that moment, didn't have a headache, and I said, I asked her, did she want me to vacuum? And, I think I must have been feeling too bad then because she said I'll come down soon, but of course now they're not feeling very good again. Um, so I'll leave the dishwasher, they can finish that, but just my, look, look at my kitchen. I don't know. And this is like, well, the video's mine obviously, and I've got bread there, um, and I've got the potatoes out, and then Kevin's had to end up with two lunch boxes because he forgot to bring yesterday's home. So I've got that all to deal with. Anyway, I'll get dinner started. So, best dinner with some gravy. Haven't had this for a long time, so it should be yummy. I'll well, say a quick good night. I'm heading off up to bed. I guess it's before 8.30, but the show is finished and Kevin just said we'll go to bed, so okay. <laughs> I'll go to bed and read for a bit. Um, been good. I just did a little bit of washing up that we had left, and I know I was bred there with Chrissy. That's the top of Chrissy's roll. She's eating the rest and just left the top. Even though she told me she would eat the top of these. Obviously not, so the dogs can have that for dinner tomorrow night. And a bit of bread is a bit past its best too. So anyway, as I said, I'm heading off to bed. Um, and I thought I'll just probably finish up this vlog for the few days. That'll probably be quite long enough for you guys. And then I will see what I do over the next few days where I vlog. If we go away, there is now a question of whether we're going away or not. If we go away, I will definitely um, vlog this video. They might not vlog tomorrow, they might vlog again on like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, either separate days if we go away or just a weekend vlog like I did last week. Yeah, I've got a bit of running around tomorrow with Athena to tutoring and stuff. So anyway, I will say good night. If anything exciting happens, I'll report in any way. <laughs> I'll film it and share it with you later like I've been doing. Hope you are well. Thank you again on all the lovely comments on the vlog that just went up. You guys always make me feel so good and so happy that I've gone to the... Not like really an effort to film, but the, the trouble and effort to... Not again, it's not trouble. But you always make me feel happy that I've gone to the effort of editing the video and getting up on YouTube. It's not oh, fluffing my mouth. <laughs> it's um, I thought it's that hard or anything, but it's time consuming. And when I'm not feeling well, it can be a bit hard to get me to do it. But um, I said to Kevin, I always feel so loved when I get these lovely comments from you all. And because um, sometimes when I'm feeling, you know, when I'm feeling really sick, I kind of wonder why am I bothering to vlog because it's not very interesting. But you guys seem to enjoy it anyway. And um, hopefully, I said, I'm certainly a lot better than I was. So hopefully the vlogs will continue to improve <laughs> um, back to perhaps what they used to be. And I hope I can get some decluttering done again one day soon. 
anyway um i'll see you guys again very soon night